Yeah, fine. Fine. Yeah, no problems. Sorry, just say that again. I didn't get that. Last few days, what happened in Bangladesh cricket? Along with the performance of cricketers uh, below uh, ranking team, uh, Afghanistan, do you think uh, this is right side again, uh, majorly boost up cricketers and uh, rebuild the team? Yeah, of course. Look, we, we're talking about professional players. You know, these guys are very, very professional in the, in the way they go about their business. So, um, you know, it doesn't take a lot of boosting from us because they are always ready. You know, this is a fantastic, fantastic group of players. Yeah, I think, I think if we're honest, that, bank, that um, Afghanistan spin attack is the best spin attack in the world. That's just a fact. You know, you've got three guys there that have played a lot of white ball cricket, and that's a lot of white ball cricket all the way around the world. You know, it's a, it's a captain's dream. You give one the ball and he does his job, and you give the other one the ball and he does his job. You know, they, they're a phenomenal, and, we, and we, we said that in the first uh, press conference we had together. Technically, the challenge that they've presented is a huge advantage to us because it's going to make us better. And if you can face these, this level of spin, then you can pretty much face anybody. The other thing about this attack is that they keep coming. There's three of them. No other teams in the world have got three spinners of this quality that keep coming at you all the, all the time. So for our preparation, I think this has been very, very beneficial. You know, to look at that team and say they, they rank below us, yes, they are. But when you look at the quality of what they present, you know, I think two of those three are top ten in the world, top three in the world. So I th we are looking at it with uh, a very, very positive outlook. Have you, have you seen any uh, progress among the ranking group against this in the last maybe the second game after the first? Yeah, I think there's, there's always going to be progress, but... Under pressure, you will always revert to type. These things take time. I understand that you guys want it to happen quickly, but it doesn't happen quickly. That's not the way of the world. You know, when you have people that have played 200 ODIs, they are still learning all the time too. So, you know, it's not going to happen quickly. I think the exciting part of what we have is we've got a young crop of batsmen that are going to play at a very high level for Bangladesh for another 10, 15 years. And that's exciting. Hello, uh, has it been difficult for the Bangladesh batters to beat the uh, spinners from their previous positions or previous? I think it's not a question of whether we've struggled to pick them. I think it's a question whether the world struggled to pick them. And where they are ranked in the world will tell you that everybody in the world struggles to pick them. You know, I had Mujib with me at Middlesex. And being a wicket keeper with wicket keeper's eyes and standing behind and talking to him, I struggled to pick him from behind. That's why they're so good. You know, could everyone pick Shane Warne? No. Could everyone pick Murlith? No. That's why they're the best in the world. That's why every competition in the world puts up so much money for mystery spin. So it's not a question of whether we, it's the world. The question is, what are we going to do about it and how is it going to make us better? You want me to tell you that in a press conference? This is sport. I cannot tell you today. Otherwise, if I knew the answer to that, then I would be the guru. What do you think? Do you think we go into a game without a plan? Of course there's a plan. It's whether you can execute the plan. Who, sorry? Never. World-class player. Never. 
coach, Bangladesh had a very good uh, bowling attack. But the way uh, Afghanistan uh, two wickets batted, uh, but what is the lacking of Bangladeshi batsmen in their known conditions? Uh, they faced uh, two matches, last two matches. I think the last comment you made is the correct comment. Two matches. We are very quick to forget that we've won a series against England, India, Ireland. Let's not forget what's come. We're, we're judging world-class cricketers on two games. Let's make sure when we judge these guys and we pass judgment on them, we judge over a long period of time, not two games. I think there's multiple ways of looking at that. I think, first, that's a question for selectors, not for me. Um, and secondly, again, a fifth has played two games of cricket. You know, I think if, if we're going to keep chopping and changing all the time, then players are always going to feel under pressure. You have to show faith in players. So whether th that number seven spot's also going to be hugely dependent on the balance of the team that we put out against different opposition. So. It's a it's a game by game thing, but um, what selectors are thinking at number seven, that's question for them. Are you all happy uh, about Abhijit Subramanian, the way he batted or the way he got out? Are you happy with that? I think the the question isn't about because you're talking about outcome. Yes, about the outcome. So you're talking about outcome. So, so if you look at any batter in the world and you ask them whether they scored those six runs, no batter in the world is going to tell you that he's happy with the outcome. Am I happy with Afif as a batsman? 100%. Because he's a quality batter. Last three questions. Uh, coach, uh, about, yes, about Afif and guys like Afif and Naeem who came into the side. Do uh, you think uh, there, there is a room to work with them? Because they have come uh, from a domestic structure or from a from an A-team structure into this level. And is, that, is that a lot of work uh, remains to be done with a batsman like Naeem? You know, how he got up to a short bowler. He doesn't face that sort of bowling in domestic cricket and then you, you, he has been brought into the side for sure for, for because of his performance but the same with Afif that he had a break you know you, you think that jump is a lot and then you have to work a lot on, on I don't I don't think there's any county cricket's probably the closest and state cricket are probably the closest to international cricket and still there is a big jump when you come up to international level it's not only the standard that jumps it's execution that jumps so if, if you have a little chink in your armor, international bowlers are going to find that. If you as a bowler have a chink, international batters are going to find that. But these things take time. You know, if I took a fish out of the sea, it would eventually learn to walk. So it will, it will adapt. You know, you guys will think about a guy like Makai Antini, who was a quality international bowler. When he first started, he wasn't very good. But you leave him at that level for a period of time, he will adapt because he has a high ceiling. These guys have all got very, very high ceilings. That's why we show faith in them. So you give those guys time, and I promise you they'll show you faith. No, the, the question being that as a coach, you know, you, you do have to work on them. Of course, you've got to work with everybody. Give them a lot of time. Yeah, of course. Other than other players. Yeah. You, again, you ask me about outcome. And if you had to ask me about outcome and batsmen and those numbers, then anybody in the world will tell you that that is not what we're trying to do. But if you ask me why that outcome, I get back to when you're facing that level of spin from ball one, this is what these guys have done for the last six, seven years to every single batsman in the world because of their level of skill and what they do. It's very, very difficult. But the longer you hang in, the easier it becomes. That is no different to any batting against any attack. So I alluded to it at the beginning. This is a very, very positive thing for our batters 
and for Bangladesh cricket and for our team for the future. Remember, we have two big tournaments coming up. So look at it from a positive point of view. Last question. I'm definitely not answering that question. Thank you. Thank you.